Listen, I am a sister is from knowledge school, science teacher. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about a bacteria and archaea. Where is bacteria? Bacteria is a single cell organism or prokaryote. Most of the bacteria are too small to see without a microscope. So bacteria live in soil and water and also in the bodies of other organisms. For example, we have some kind of the bacteria live inside this fish are 0.6 millimeter long, so which is big enough to see without a microscope. But most of the bacteria are too small to see with our microscope. Bacteria is a single celled organism or prokaryote. The shapes of the bacteria are very. The most common shapes of the bacteria are bacilli and cocci and spirella. Bacilli, cocci, and spirella. Where is bacilli? Bacilli are road shape. As you can see here, we have bacilli are road shape. And also we have cocci are spherical shape. Spherical shape. And spirella are long and spiral shape. Long and spiral shape. The shapes of the bacteria are very, and the most common shapes of the bacteria are bacilli, cocci, spirella. Now, I am going to talk about a prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, an organism that consists of a single cell that does not have a nucleus, and also their DNA is not surrounded by a membrane. So, prokaryotes are single cell organisms. An organism that consists of a single cell that does not have a nucleus and also their DNA is not surrounded by a membrane. Prokaryotes are able to move or get energy and reproduce. Prokaryotes able to move and get energy and reproduce. Most prokaryotes are much simpler and smaller than eukaryotes. Now, how prokaryotes reproduce? So prokaryote reproduction, for example, like bacteria. Bacteria reproduce by a process is called binary vision. Binary vision. Binary vision, a form of asexual reproduction in single cell organisms by which one cell divided into two cells of the same size. For example, we have steps of binary vision. First, the cell grows. As you can ferris, the cell grows. And then the DNA is copied and attached to the cell membrane. The DNA is copied and attached to the cell membrane. And then the DNA and its copy separate as the cell grows larger. When the cells grow larger, the DNA and its copies separate. And then the cells split in two. Each new cell has copy of the DNA. So the steps of binary vision start from the cell growth, and then the DNA is copied and attached to the cell membrane. And then the DNA and its separate, the DNA and its copy separate as the cell grows larger. When the cell grows larger, the DNA and also its copy separate. And the cells split into two. Each new cell has a copy of the DNA. So binary vision, a form of asexual reproduction in single cell organism by which one cell divided into two cells of the same size. Like you can see, number four, the cells split in two and each new cell has a copy of the DNA. Now, endospores. Endospores in dry or cold surrounding, some species of the bacteria will die. In these conditions, other bacteria become inactive and form. Inactive and form. Endospores in dry or cold surrounding some species of the bacteria will die. 
in these conditions, other bacteria become inactive and form endospores. Endospores, you have to know what this endospore. Endospore is a thick wall of protective spore that forms inside a bacterial cell and resists harsh conditions. Resists harsh conditions. So endospore in dry or cold surroundings. So endospore is a thick wall of protective spore that forms inside a bacterial cell and resists harsh conditions. Many endospores can survive in hot, in cold, and very dry places. When conditions improve, the endospores break open and then the bacteria become active again. When the conditions improve, the endospores break open and the bacteria become inactive. For example, of the endospore found in a preserved insect like this one shows scientists that bacteria can survive for millions of years. For millions of years. Now, I am going to talk about eubacteria. Eubacteria are classified by the way they get food. Eubacteria are classified by the way they get a food. For example, like most eubacteria, such as those breaking down the leaf our consumers get their food by eating other organisms and many bacteria are decomposer decomposer means which feed on dead organisms on dead organisms and some other bacteria consumers live in or on the body of another organisms live in or on the body of another organisms and the bacteria that make their own food are called producers, like plants, producers. These bacteria use the energy from sunlight or chemical energy to make food, to make food. So there are some bacteria are consumers and some are de decomposers and some other consumers and producers. Consumers means live in or on the body of another organisms. Decomposer, which feed on dead organisms. What about producer that make their own food from the sun and use the energy from the sun or chemical energy to make food? Cyanobacteria. You have to know cyanobacteria are producers are producers and usually live in water usually live in water and also contain the green pigment chlorophyll contain the green pigment chlorophyll what is chlorophyll chlorophyll is important to food scientists why why chlorophyll is important to food scientists because photosynthesis is a process of making food, the energy in sunlight. The process of making food, the energy in the sunlight. So most of the cyanobacteria contain the green pigment chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a reason for making cyanobacteria in green color. So chlorophyll is important for photosynthesis and the process of making food, the energy in the sunlight. Many cyanobacteria have other pigments, like some have a blue pigment that help in photosynthesis. The pigments that give those cyanobacteria a blotting, a blotting. So some have a blue pigment that helps in photosynthesis. And some other, some other cyanobacteria have red pigments. For example, flamingos get their pink color from eating red cyanobacteria. So cyanobacteria are producer means make their own food from the sunlight. So cyanobacteria usually live in water and also contain the green pigment chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is important for photosynthesis, the process of making food the energy in sunlight. And also cyanobacteria have other pigments, for example, like have a blue pigments and also red pigments. Domain archaea. 
The three main types of archaeobacteria are hair lovers, soil lovers, and methane makers. Hair lovers, soil lovers, and methane makers. So first, we have hair lovers. Hair lovers live in ocean beds and hot springs. So hair lovers live in very hot water and usually from 60 Celsius to 80 Celsius. So, but they can survive temperatures of more than 250 Celsius. So hair lovers live in ocean beds and hot springs. What about salt lovers? Salt lovers live in environments that have high levels of the salt, high levels of salt. For example, the sea, Great Salt Lake in America. So third one, we have methane makers. Methane makers give off methane gas and also live in swamps and animal intestines. So there are three main types of the archaeobacteria, hair lovers, salt lovers, and methane makers. Hair lovers live in very hot water. Salt lovers live in environments that have high levels of the salt, and methane makers live in swamps and animal intestines. Bacteria are all in the world. Bacteria live in all our water and food and bodies, and also Bacteria are very important to the health of the earth and also they help recycle the animals and plants. Bacteria also play an important role in nitrogen cycle. In nitrogen cycle. So bacteria's role in the world, bacteria live in everywhere, in our water, in food and bodies. And also bacteria are very important to help earth and also they help recycle dead animals and plants and also play an important role in the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen fixation. Plants need nitrogen to grow. Nitrogen gas makes up about 78% of their air. So most of the plants cannot use nitrogen directly from the air. Plants need to take in a different form of nitrogen. For example, nitrogen fixing bacteria take in nitrogen from the air and change it to form the plants that plants can use. So nitrogen fixing bacteria take in nitrogen from the air and change it to a form that plants can use. So nitrogen fixation, plants need nitrogen to grow needs nitrogen to grow. That's all about today's lesson. See you to next lesson.